work like a champ. Got a crying kid you're sick of listening to? Cures all your problems. Don't want your kids to know what goes on in your room? Just turn it off! Woo! Ah! You've got a neighbor mowing the lawn, driving you crazy when you're trying to enjoy a Saturday afternoon? That is annoying mower. I'll start the music. <laughs> Everything looks up to code here. It's fine. Looks clean. Proof that I've probably broken the rules and hooked up four speakers to one zone. Been that way for about a year. Anybody have any suggestions? How to do this better? I didn't bridge it. Post in the comments. Great little keypads throughout the house. Switch to the source. And you can do the treble and bass. And all that. And all the buttons work. Here's an inside the wall look. You can switch these little guys here. Tell you what uh, zone. It's all in the book in the manual. The only thing that I think is totally flipping makes no sense at all is the little thing here is on the back side, so you can't reach it. You gotta get a little a nail. If you ever need to unhook these, get a little something like this. Boop, boop, boop. And that's how you do it. I think they should have turned this the other way, but whatever. I've got speakers everywhere. In here. In here. Not quite yet in here. Out here. There. Or there. And here. Even some up here. So, how did I get all of these throughout the house? I used these, link in the description, this to cut drywall, I used these to put the little wall plates in the wall, link in the description, very handy, put them anywhere, I used a bunch of these, and this, and most importantly, a stud detector that detected water and electricity, so I didn't kill myself. But I can't find the finder, so you can't see it. I found the finder. Link in the description. And you'll probably want one of these. Or a little nicer one than this one. Here's what's left of my 1,000 foot 18 gauge 4 wire speaker wire. Auto price, link in the description. Here's the 8 inch speakers I used. Here's a sample of my redneck wiring. In, in most existing houses, helped a few people, found there's this hole 
usually where these tubes go up. Careful, some of them get hot, but they come up from the furnace. And I was able to get up two levels through here. I can't see it! A tip and trick that helped me was when I cut holes in this, I have a bunch of loose insulation that falls down. And so, they can sell these speaker covers so the insulation doesn't get in here. What I do? Because I'm cheap, redneckish a little bit. I took this bag that it came in and I taped it right down around here. This is the six and a half inch speaker. This is going to my kids' room. I taped it along here, put it in there, all along the edge. So put a bag all the way around it. Keeps the insulation down it. I don't have four hands, so I can't show you. I just taped it there. It's like a painter's tape. That's it. Here we are on the desktop, and this is the software I'm using. Thanks, Mike. I've got a link below for this software, the Mono Amp Mixer Amp. This is kind of how I configured it. Use the README file. It's pretty self-explanatory. My cell phone, as long as I save uh, this link to the desktop of my cell phone, it will just open up, and I can actually, whatever I change here, it changes there, or vice versa. Whoop, 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 whoop. I can turn it on, turn it off. It's really cool. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if there's any questions you have. I do answer in the comments below. Subscribe. I want a song for my daughter.